what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson before here bring you guys more quality events warfare hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay today because today i managed to go 18 and 5 with the mp11 now there's a bad problem with this one guys it's a big ass problem i got disconnected halfway if you guys saw my last video i did mention to you guys why i'm being disconnected halfway in most of my matches and this is not the first time it happens this is like maybe like the 10th time 18th time that i get disconnected halfway for doing good and it only happens when i'm doing good by the way it always happens and my theory is that if i'm doing super good in the gameplay my kd will go up right and every time it goes up i'm being kicked out because the game is trying to match me with other people with the same kd that's my theory because the people in my current lobby right now that i'm playing right now maybe all have the same kd and then when somebody's doing super good they get kicked out but i've seen that several times with other people they don't get kicked out they actually play the whole gameplay and every time i see that i'm doing bad because i managed to get the whole gameplay in so it's really confusing what i just said right now but all i'm saying is i'm getting kicked out for doing good because i'm being matched up at the middle of the match by the game because my kd went up so that's my theory guys if you guys got an answer to that, please let me know in the comment section because I think that's fucking bullshit. Because I heard this I heard this rumor about the SBMM trying to match you with uh, some certain players with the same KD. Which is a big ass problem because nobody in your region probably doesn't have the same KD. So, yeah, it's just really controversial there, man. I really want that SBMM, SBMM off. Like, just leave it how it fucking is. Like, Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1. What's the fucking problem with those two games man they have the best matchmaking of the whole Call of Duty series and Modern Warfare 2 kinda and Call of Duty 4 and maybe World of War I never played that game at all so yeah I really don't know about those games so anyways enough about my rants enough about my complaints because it is a major complaint that I cannot finish a fucking game after doing so good um my main topic of today is clans I'm currently looking for a clan guys with at least 15 to 20 members I want a clan that can actually play the objectives. In this gameplay, guys, you should be able to see several times where I'm capturing a flag. Maybe like a few times. Though. I only captured the flag twice, I believe. Uh, there was a few times. Actually, this this one big time is in this video where I'm capturing the B flag and my teammate is just camping on the fucking corner. I'm like, help me out, get the fucking B flag, man. Don't just fucking stare at the hallway. So keep your eye on that part. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll tell you guys when it happens. So I want people that know how to play the objectives, that don't camp, that don't just camp for kill streaks. I want people that know how to rush. That's what I'm looking for. People know, who know how to rush, have the right weapons in the right situations. I want them to be the best. Or maybe I can help out, you know, recruit people or something, you know, I'll show you guys here on YouTube or something. You know, I, I will do my best, guys. I will do my best, whoever's looking at this, you know, clan leaders, whatever. I'm willing to join. The problem is I can only play at nights, though. So if you're like an 11 p.m. guy, 12 midnight, you know, I'll be on it during that time. So um, if not, if you're just like a viewer right now and playing Call of Duty Events Warfare, add me. But the problem is, I don't play Search and Destroy. I don't. I know most of the time when people add me, let's play Search and Destroy, blah, blah. I don't play Search and Destroy, all right? Don't even invite me. Don't even dare invite me to those gameplays. And look at this part. This is the part I'm talking about. I'm capturing the B flag. Look at the map. There's three members, four members not even helping me out with the B flag. And I'm over here like, bruh, are you fucking kidding me? I just captured the V-Flag by myself. Yes, I know, and it was kind of clear, but I want some help sometimes, you know? Help me get the flag faster. That's all I want. I miss my Black Ops 2 days and my Modern Warfare 3 days, because I always had a clan member with me, and it was fucking badass. But now I don't, and it fucking sucks, you know, sometimes. I mean, I used to do, I used to get, like, several clan invites back in the day, back in Modern Warfare 3, back when I was super fucking good. 50 kills per gameplay, shit, I would get like 40 plus clan invites per month. It was insane, man. It was fucking insane. And then Black Ops 2, when I was doing super good, I was getting several clan invites also, like 20 plus, and it just went downhill from there from Call of Duty Ghosts. Actually, in Call of Duty Ghosts, I got like 3 clan invites and that's it. One from a major clan, by the way. So, yeah, any clans that are watching this right now, I'm willing to join your clan. Just send me your invites, I'll look through my invites later on, and, um, you know, I'll set the first one, first come, first serve. And if I see that you have less than 15 members, I'm not going to join. I want a team that's kind of dedicated into uh, achieving objectives. So, 
that's it, guys. If you guys want to check out more on my stats, please make sure to call, go to Call of Duty Elite and check out my stats so you guys can see my background and see how good I am in some several other games. So that's it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more.